without a league win. Clyde Bank are struggling, and there was less than a thousand at their home game at Capolo. The ball boys were asked to pay to get in, but the Bankies get off to the perfect start thanks to Andy Carlin, the Morton keeper. Children, this is not how to deal with a pass back. Chris O'Neill sent it back with interest. Carling replaced Ali Maxwell, but he must have wished the regular goalkeeper had been available. Bankies held out until just before half-time, and it was a case of anything you can do as far as the defending went. Ross Matheson with the cross, and the ball on a plate for Paul McDonald. It's probably the easiest goal the Morton man will ever score. The defender trying to ease the ball back to his goalkeeper, Andy McConaughey. And the goalkeeper was not amused. Then life became more complicated for Morton. A chase for the ball between Andy Millen and Greg Miller. The side bank man goes down and Millen goes off. The referee saw this as a last man challenge and Morton reduced to 10 men for the whole of the second half. However, that didn't put them off too much and another opportunist goal coming up. Morton's best moves came through Gary Tweedy and on this occasion he decided to go it alone. Surely there's no danger from that angle, but what a finish and what a celebration. Much more of this and you'll be making a name for yourself, young man. Tweedy again involved, he shows good control and then good vision as well as a perfect pass inside the fullback to Warren Hawke and it's Keith Wright with the finish. Apologies for seeing it again but Keith in the right place, three points to Morton and keep an eye on Gary Tweedy.